What I go on my people, so an interesting turn of event regards to Bushman performing at Rebel Salute and um, talking with Winfred Williamson, Jason Williams and crying and it went viral and I did a video about it um, because when it went viral, Taurus Riley uh, go on his social media and make an hashtag saying that he's not standing with um, Bushman and I made a video about it and I was saying that Taurus Riley shouldn't have said that and because the video was viral I guess Winfred Williams um, needed to um, interview Bushman again you know what I mean I did a video about it and I tweeted to Bushman I tweeted to Taurus Riley and I tweeted to on stage you know what I mean so I'm saying I think that they watch it you see me so for um, Winfred Williams to interview Bushman I don't want uh, Winfred Williams to um, have YouTube flag me I, I find it very interesting because he know that I'm gonna do a video about it I don't want him to um, have YouTube flag my video or take down my YouTube page so I'm not gonna ask for Mr. Winfred leniency because he knew that I was gonna do a video about it um, so Bushman um, people was explaining why I was crying and I'm gonna have you guys take up just a listen one thing is that it. if one should check my career and the way it started you know it's like every time you forget that bounce there yes something about bat you down back like pow you know what I'm saying I mean I, I can recall um, my first producers and the way it went down Bushman is without manager and producer was one of the biggest front page in the greener, yes. you know what I'm saying? Because of some disagreements that we had, mm -hmm. and um, you get a front page for that. We get a front page, and it, and not even for push the career. One of the things is that having a platform to bounce from, I've never, I've never gotten. Mm -hmm. As opposed to when we say platform, we would like to explain to the public, like Abuja Bantan with a penthouse platform, mm -hmm. Alushiana, okay, with a Fatis Burrell platform. You know what I say? Sisla Kolonji with a Fatis Burrell platform which have a person who are working their best interests yes. and have their best interests at heart. That has never happened to my career. What? Fans reach out to me. My music constantly subsides their pain, whether physically or mentally. Because we have some music where when you come, on, come home from that hard tiling and you're ready for unwind and reconnect, Mm -hmm. Here comes Bushman, the musical medicine man. <laughs> you, yes, should, you should push that title more. <laughs> the musical medicine man. But it is. That, and it, that tagline, been, that's a bad tagline. It's a tagline. Yes, it's a tagline it is. And it has been, but we just haven't gotten the platform. But the, so it, then, mm -hmm. this 7 o'clock thing, me no Jan know what's best. Yes. So even the band members come to me and tell me, Rhythm 2000, bad set of musicians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're crazy. So when, when, when the keyboardist, which is the band leader, come to me, Greg, and say, yo, Bushy, then move your time from seven, but no worry, we got your back and your, 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 crush it, your, sh the word is shell. Mm -hmm. A shell ends, you know, that thing say and walk away. Your performance is 50%, you know. The band is the next 50. If you don't have a good band, you ain't got a good performance, which I credited. Hey, I credit two of them for a lot of things. When I think two of them go, go, go to the extra mile to get an arm section, knowing that so many artists and we can't use everybody band, so they get an extra arm section to make the music more professional. Yes. And they use about maybe three or four band. So the band members them can't get so tired yes. easily. But the point that one should take from this, because we have seen incident with Taurus Riley and Anthony B. Yes. And, and Fantan Mojo with Taurus walk up on Fantan stage. So don't we learn from this? Because life is like this. You know? If you're living a life and you don't get no experience, that simply means you're a base. I'm saying this, I don't want nobody have no feelings. But it's the reality of the world. And for too long, we, we, we see some things that happen where we feel, where we just act as if we're comfortable with it. Yes. Another thing that was weighing on your mind, based on the interview, was dirty lyrics. Nasty for music. For too long. For too long. And they're pulling through and they're for, getting love. Too much for, love. People will get love, matters not what they say, because music is this platform for self-expression, and people okay. express themselves accordingly. Okay. But why don't we think about the regulation of the music then? Mm -hmm. Because you get your love in the club, you know? And the dance hall, you know. You understand? So you can't pass my dance gate without ID, you know. And you can't pass my club gate without ID. And the corner shop. Where the derogatory the open, music can the be open played corner shop. So now you have this derogatory music being played at the corner shop 
where my little kid can run, go buy one sweets. And in the public transportation, where everyone, Christian and everybody, take it. Mm -hmm. So, while in December, missing metropolitan officers out, taking away Arkham peddlers' goods, yes. teach the people about the thing. Let them go get an Arkham peddler license, rightfully. Teach them about it then. Not take away them goods and when they forget it back, you never register what and what mm -hmm. you take from them. And them can't retrieve it. That adds at least a percent or two to the crime rate. Mm -hmm. Cause people want to apply themselves honestly and they're being bombarded and face obstacles and yeah. red flags. Yeah. So why don't you get them metropolitan officer here? Mr. Oldness, may I say this to you? And allocate them for, for be a part of regulating how the music is being played. It plays anywhere and people act like it's the norm. So and what is going to happen to our generation next? You join Lucia then. Music is the greatest teacher, and people with minds will see and know. You and join him in calling yes. for yes. regulation? Yes, I do join him, and I've been saying this ever since. Last February at Dennis Brown's um, show in Halfway Tree, I asked for the regulation of music. Clearly asked for it. I have been. Even though one of the things why people don't really see Bushman out there uh, uh, express himself about how we feel. We don't get the platform, you know. And stage gave me a platform, and, and I never knew what it was about. I break down in tears because of what I felt. Yeah. But this platform is a, is, a, is a blessing in disguise. It gave me a chance to express myself and tell people how I really feel. So people, that's him talking about why he was crying. You know what I mean? And people, the reason why I said um, Bushman um, needed the platform and I was endorsing him is because he said something and I found it that it, it's very interesting. He said that um, sometime when you hear a song and you say, oh, him did sing that. That's the type of person um, Bushman is because he has some song and it's when I know that is uh, yeah, it's Bushman. That's when I really remember that it is Bushman who sing that song. You know what I mean? Because those songs, as he said, it resonate with people. And his passion that he was talking to Winfred Williams about is the type of artist and the type of um rasta them that um come from the real ghetto sings about the struggle just like he was talking to um winfred williams and trying to explain to andrew holness about what needed to be done um with um the vendors them you know what i mean it's a man that speaks about real social issue and i'm gonna um tell people what i like that he did i like that he remind me and this is a clever way of doing it um Bushman, I like that you, you um, incite me cleverly that you wanted me to um, tell this to my viewers. That Taurus Riley walked up on um, Fantan Moja. Taurus Riley walked up on Fantan Moja stage. You know what I mean? So when Taurus Riley walked up on Fantan Moja stage, when Bushman said that in his interviews to tell me, to tell my viewers that, Yes, Taurus Riley has been making trouble for a long time now, people. And it's a clever way of getting me to tell my audience, um, Bushman. I like that you incite me to do it. You know what I mean? But about and away from that, I um, see Bushman as a talented artist and a talented individual because those songs that he said that he was um, um, inspired to do and sing about is always from reality. You know what I mean? And reality is something that resonates, as he said, with a lot of people. Once uh, someone is singing about a reality situation and you're in certain situation that um, is parallel to that person's situation, you're gonna, you can um, relate to what he's saying. So that's why his song connect with so, so much people and so much people from the ghettos. You know what I mean? So that's why I was saying Bushman is someone I am standing with because he has always been an artist where he does good song and I don't know why he didn't get the platform but Bushman I'm encouraging you to use social media as your um channel um to promote yourself more you know what I mean because that's the way um you're gonna get the publicity and that's the way you're gonna get more recognized you know what I mean because you're a talented individual and the world need to see more of you. The world need to see more artists like you. I don't know why you haven't gotten the platform. And that's the reason why um, people, he was crying because he said that um, the music that he see um, coming out of Jamaica that um, is diluting the moral um, steadiness of 
people, black people on a whole and Jamaicans is not good. You know what I mean? And that's why I was crying because his music where it should be something that is uplifting and supposed to be getting endorsed is um being pushed aside and it was emotional about it. You know what I mean? So I can see why he was crying and I'm saying that he is a good artist and people should go and check him out. You know what I mean? Because he said that he just need um, the push and he need the platform. And I'm encouraging people to go and buy his album as well. Conquering Lion. You know what I mean? But people, I'm so glad that Winfrey Williams gave him the second um, chance to explain and express himself. You know what I mean? Because artists like this, they need the platform. You see me? So big up yourself, Winfred Williams, and big up yourself, Bushman. You see me? Peace. I'm out. Work in the country, you have to look upon. And him do great works too, because even though they are jail, him still be the champion DJ boy. Yeah. And some boy will say they didn't want him to go to jail. <laughs> the biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. The biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. I am saying that. Wait for the way. Stick me on, on that if you wish.